Now, if you're familiar with functional programming and watching this video, you probably already know what a maybe is. You're welcome to skip this. If you don't, let's whip out to Node real quick, and I'll show you some examples of where situations where maybe can happen. If you want to remove null pointers from your code, you cannot let those situations occur. In Node, it's very, very easy to have some type of value be undefined or have a value to be man and throw it into other functions that are expecting it and it blows up because there's no types. There's no types at compile time and there's no types at runtime. If you use things like TypeScript and whatnot, they still allow situations where you can manually cast and be wrong or you can use things such as any or you can get from third party data that you can't guarantee at runtime is correct because you got it from some REST service that TypeScript just doesn't compile, doesn't use the schema. And so there's certain situations where that occurs. The first is where it occurs a lot is in parsing. So let me give an example. If I have a number here and I say A is one, and I parse it, it comes out as one. So parse int so far so good is pretty good. You can say parse int of one as a string, it works. You can say zero one, and it's smart enough to do the left side, you can even say parse int space of one and it's smart enough to trim it. But as soon as you say cow or something like an emoji, it gives you a nan. As soon as you give it nothing undefined, it gives you a nan. And so it, it, there's no guarantee it'll work. Parse int is gonna return either a number that you were expecting, a number that you weren't expecting, or a nan. And we can't really handle the number you're not expecting, but what we can handle is this nan. And so if you want a function that always returns a number, it's maybe going to work, maybe not. So you return something called a maybe instead because NAN is not useful for mathematical operations. And so people just assume that parsing is going to work. Maybe forces you to deal with those assumptions and guarantee in a type safe way that you have to deal with it. And so let me show you an example of that. We're going to go to Elm here and I'll use the string. Let's expose 2 int. And so if we do the same thing, 2 int, and we'll say 1 that'll give us just one. And so it's maybe an integer. What that means, it's a maybe that has some an integer in it. If it's a just, it's gonna have an integer. If it's nothing, it's not gonna have anything. So if we say two int zero one, that works as well. And just like JavaScript, you can do one, but it's not smart enough to trim like JavaScript is. And so what it'll do is say nothing. So there's nothing inside of there. But the point is that you can type this. You can type a maybe with an integer. Parser's abilities, it's always gonna return this though. It's never gonna return nan or something else. These types will give you type safe stuff that runtime that you can deal with.